Let's talk about your stunt driving charge in Ontario and your seven day car impound and suspension. And let's start with the biggest question, which is wait, what just happened at the roadside with my license and my car? With stunt driving charges, the police actually have a legal obligation to immediately impound your car for seven days. They can even arrest you if they deem it necessary. Also, the law dictates that you get an immediate seven day driving suspension. These steps are actually very unusual under the law because generally with uh, other charges, due process needs to be followed, which means that uh, the government with any charge needs to prove the case against you. And only if the case is proven against you or you agree to a plea agreement and only then are the penalties imposed. However, with stunt driving, you get these immediate penalties such as this seven day license suspension and seven day car impoundment without any legal due process. So it leads to the next question, which is how can I get a suspension and impound even if I haven't been proven guilty? In other words, the facts of your case have not even been proven in a court, but you still get these immediate penalties, which is really unusual. But the reason why it's important to understand this, it happens because the core of the nature of the charge itself. I mean, when you're speeding over that 50 kilometer threshold, the law now considers you to be a public safety threat. And the risk to the public is actually killing someone or putting someone in a wheelchair or causing property damage. That risk is so severe that the law says, look, it's okay to remove due process for a very short period of time, these seven days, because we want to protect the public from you and your irrational actions. So in other words, let's remove the public safety threat right now in the midst of your bad judgment um, that you're really driving fast. So in effect, these seven day penalties really force you to cool down. They force you to think straight again. And what's very important to understand is this seven day period. If you're um, in that right now during the seven day driving suspension period, um, you don't get to drive. If you get caught driving during the seven day suspension, there are very serious consequences in addition to the stunt driving charge, which has been imposed against you. So another question is what's up with the automatic seven day dri driver's license suspension. And you already know that your driver's license is automatically suspended for seven days. So even if you have access to a different vehicle, you cannot drive it because your driver's license itself was suspended. And even if you do not get convicted of your stunt driving or raising charge, this seven day suspension stays on your driving record. However, it uh, shows as a seven day administrative suspension and does not mention the stunt driving charge. So how can I reinstate my driver's license after the seven days? Um, you call Service Ontario and you can have them assist with reinstating your driver's license. Um, but since COVID, Service Ontario has made it uh, much easier to accomplish this online. Um, and there's a link on our website um, where you can click to reinstate your driver's license online. So the bottom line is get legal advice. You have a long legal bat battle ahead of you. You are hiring a legal representative because you feel they will do a better job defending your charges than you can do yourself. Treat this very seriously and ask all the right questions. This is your license. This is your life.